So here we are in the barn. Mm -hmm. Here we are in the barn. So many years later. <laughs> Anyways, uh, maybe you just can tell me your name. I'm Marcus Schmidt. And uh, your dad is Michael Schmidt. He is Michael Schmidt. And we're at Glen, Glen, Colton, Glen Colton Par Farms. Glen Colton Farms, yes. Yeah, you, you say that better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it looks like we've got an important date coming up, and maybe you can tell me a little bit about how you feel about it. Right, so May 29th and 30th, we have the uh, injun injunction hearing coming up in, uh, in Newmarket, mm -hmm. and uh, it is, for us, it is sort of it, it's going to be the turning point in one way or another mm -hmm. because it's gone on for so many years now with the same same game that that the other side is playing just the game of trying to wear us down pick us apart bit by bit um, that we cannot keep playing in that way it's just First of all, it takes our time away from the things that we need to do. Mm -hmm. And second of all, it's just uh, the finances that have to pour into it are just, it's unbelievable. And yeah. for a farm and its members and its community to have to carry that for mm -hmm. an extended amount of time is is impossible. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. very difficult. Yeah, Elisa said uh, roughly $60,000 already or something. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yes. And, um, and and the taxpayers' money. I mean, we are all paying for this, oh, yes. and we don't want it. No, that's right. You it's uh, it's a tremendous amount of money that uh, that from the other side that the, the tax basis money is being used for. Um, they're still trying to find a. a Michael went for freedom of information. I don't think he's actually gotten any concrete numbers, but. It's mm -hmm. in the millions of dollars that have mm -hmm. been spent trying yeah. to yeah. take us apart, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's kind of ironic that it's people's money who, who don't want it to happen, their money's being used to do it. Exactly. Yeah. That's adding injury to insult to injury, yeah, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a, yeah, it's a turning, it's sort of a, it is going to be a turning point one way or another because it's um, uh, the, the stalemate, so to speak, it has to be, it has to be broken. It has to be moved yeah, in either yeah. which direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's going to be important. So it's going to be a big push and and hard. I'm sure of it, as it has been the mm -hmm. whole way. But yeah, uh, yeah. it's going to come through. And yeah. how is the work here in the barn? I mean, because I saw you just a few minutes ago to yeah. put the bells on the cows, and how is that? How are the cows? The cows are wonderful. Yeah, amazing. They're doing great, yeah. They just, uh, they're just going out to pasture this week. Mm -hmm. Finally, it's warm enough and dry enough so they can go out. And um, yeah, we're transitioning from the winter to summer, so everything is going from inside to the outside. Inside. Breathing and out. Yes, enjoying the sunlight and the green grass and flowers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's going to be nice. That, that, that can put a smile on your face anytime. That sure can. <laughs> and that's really what we need. I mean, yes. we need healthy people, we need healthy food. Yeah. I mean, what is the 1% trying to do? <laughs> it's who knows what? It's ridiculous, who knows? you know? I mean, they're, they're just all busy making wars all over the place or vaccinating people who don't want it. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing. So. But uh, the farm is good. The farm is doing great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the important thing. I mean, we yeah. need lots and lots of farms like this. Yes, so. but it's, I mean, it's a pity they're going down more and more and more. So tell me a little less. bit, tell me a little bit about um, how, is it, how is it out east with the food? Out east, on mm -hmm. the east coast, it's, mm -hmm. um, people are still a lot more community oriented out there. They're a little they? more... Um, uh, I like to say they they still have old-fashioned values in a certain way and um, more morality. Yeah, uh, yes, to a degree, yes, mm -hmm. to a degree. Um, so it's people are just by nature they're a little bit more. I would say a little bit more aware of the importance of you know 
in terms of this topic of um, uh, aware of the importance of good food and mm -hmm. and trying to do things, you know, growing your own food. Yeah. Um, Having a garden. Yes, it's actually increasing out there. It's increasing yeah. where I am too. Yeah, people are you know, are doing people, it more and more. Instead again. of grass, yeah. they make a garden. So back in the, I talked to a few people out there. Back in the 70s and 80s, that's when it sort of it faded away to mm -hmm. a large degree. The people doing their own own food, and in the last five to ten years, especially, it's just. Mm -hmm. People are diving back into it. Yeah. Can people get raw milk out there? Uh, and I, I'm sure there's a few, a few people that are getting some. Yeah, um, I didn't talk to anybody specifically about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm sure there is everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> but of course you weren't on the farm when you were out there, right? No. Yeah, but uh, so farm life is better than farm in a house. I mean. Life in a house. It's, it always is. Always is. You always, you have, you have. There's. For me, it is anyway because I grew up on the farm. Yeah. So I'm used to the big space. Yeah. The big. Uh, the work. The, it's um, being gone. I was gone for four years. It was the first time in my life not. Not being, being on a farm. Being in the rhythm of a farm or our farm. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like a fish out of water. Water. Yeah. It was good that you had the water out there. And because yes. uh, you were in the dory races, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it was good that you had water. It absolutely was. So we'll see everybody, like a thousand people in Newmarket on the Hopefully. 29th and the Hopefully, 30th. Yeah. I see the cows, are green. <laughs> they, cows are green. They're green. Maybe we'll bring some cows too. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> okay, we're back. And I want to ask you another question. Uh, I see there are quite a lot of um, big cows in there still. You yeah. can see them. Um, so tell me what's about them. So these guys, <coughs> they're... they're uh, Pregnant and they're getting ready to have their calves, so they've stopped milking them. They're when did you stop? Uh, when when did you? How long do they stop with the milking? Um, it depends on the, each cow. Some cows will stop milking earlier, so the average is usually around three months. Uh huh. Right so they get a bit of a rest. Yeah. Um, so they're on rest period now, and they're going to go over onto the summer pasture, um, mm -hmm. which is. A uh, big, big area that's fenced in with, with nice lush pasture with bush, um, swamp, everything where they can just it's it's like their uh, their uh, summer residence where they can relax and have mm -hmm. a good time and recuperate and get ready to have their calves. And, and when will that be about? Like uh, it's different. They're all at different stages. So mm -hmm. um, most, well, most of these that are going over, they'll be calving um, in anywhere from two months to another f six months, I think. Oh, that much, yeah. eh? So yeah, they might have uh, they might have um, the calf in the fall or in the late yep. fall. Yep. Aha. Some okay. Of them will. Yeah. Okay. So. And and you do the staggering on purpose, I would imagine. Yes, so we get you know? a constant supply of milk through. Yeah, the and, yeah. And, and and the cows are not stressed. Nope, no stress for the you cows. Know? Yeah. Because I mean, the 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 cows in industrial farms, I think, um, they they, well, they only last about three or four years, right? Yeah, so most. I think the average age of a industrial milk cow now is four years. Yeah, four to five and how years. old are these? So, uh, Some of them. The oldest one is 16, I think, or 15. Wow. Yeah. That goes to show you. Yeah. So I think our average age is usually anywhere from eight years and up. Yeah. 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 And then they know what they're doing. They're okay. What the and they birth uh, out in the field. In the summertime, they're out in the yeah. field. Yeah. 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 So and they do that all themselves. And, and they nobody... do. We. Generally, never have to be there when they have their calves. They're, yeah, there's very easy calving. Animals. And you can and you can tell when they're ready to have babies. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah. So then you watch them a little bit more. And then we watch. Yeah. So we go over. Yeah. 
Usually yeah. every couple of days or at least a couple of times a week. And then yeah. you can sort of see, you know, uh -huh, they're getting, getting ready, ready and then you and we watch a little bit more. more. And usually yeah. we can tell, you know, in the next day yeah. she'll be calving and then we're, we're yeah. there. When so that means, that means that these cows can have a cow's life. They can have a cow's life. And they don't Absolutely. mind giving the milk. They love giving milk. You know, I mean, you know, it's amazing, really. Yeah. Uh, you know, how, how um, somebody mentioned once to me uh, how it is with the grain. You know, when the grain grows, yeah. the grain doesn't mind giving 90% of its grain to the people, and the rest uh, is used for to have more grain. That's right, yeah. You know, and I mean, if we treat the cows in the right way and the chickens in the right way, yeah. you know, everybody else is happy. Yeah. <laughs> Give more than you can take. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Well, thank you, Marcus. Yeah, so tell me, uh, they eat hay, you say, and they eat straw, they too? Eat straw. If you have hay that's too rich, um, that they can't, that's too much for their system to digest, then you can dilute it with straw, so we just mix it in. Mix it in, and then like they this eat. This year we had some, and we mixed in about a quarter of the portion with straw. And uh, it just helps their digestive system. system. So it gets too rich. Then yeah. They just, it's, yeah. It's it just helps. Yeah. So imagine the difference between that and um, eating corn and soy as powder. Yes. I mean, you 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 cannot imagine what those poor animals go through. That's right. You know. And in the old days, they, even the straw used to be so good on a lot of farms in the old days that cows could eat only mm -hmm. straw. straw. Yeah. Because it's rich enough. Yeah, not the milking cows, but the, yeah. the dry cows. And yeah, the yeah. And it's actually oh, there's the kitty cat. Oh boy, and these are all eating. <laughs> Trying to. Okay. Now we're going to scare them. <laughs> With the bell? <laughs> Put the bells around them. There's okay. Marcus, thank you very yeah. much. All right. <laughs>